Happy Sunday. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. I want to talk to all the new agents that are getting their license in 2024. Then you know the odds of you making it are against you. Because over 90% of insurance agents fail their first year. And that's a scary number when you think about it. 90%. But let's break it down on why this happens. I personally help hundreds of people every single month start the journey of obtaining their life insurance license. But agents fail. So today I want to share with you guys my opinion on why I believe this happens. Just some observations over 20 years of selling final expense. You know, I've been able to see, you know, agents that started when I got licensed 20 years ago, most of them were gone and doing something else within 90 days. Think about that. The group of students that started their courses, much like a lot of you, I believe it was over 50 people that started from day one that made the commitment to go getting the license, doing the study time, And when I started 20 years ago, there was no such thing as getting online and doing the online study like you have today. We'd have to physically go to a class and do the study course that way. But within 90 days, literally over 90% of those people, they were gone. And I remember talking to several of my original group of people and there was talented individuals ex-professional baseball players college graduates and I could go on and on and on you know of the people that were joining the insurance business 20 years ago but again why was so many of them failing When I moved on to final expense and I took a look at the people that what I was working with, especially the new ones, the same thing. A big majority of them were gone. So now in age, you can get your license, you can go and work for a captive agency or you can be a broker where you represent a handful of insurance companies and you're going to find what's best for you. Whether you just want to focus in on one type of product, one carrier and build a career, that's fine. Or if you want to be a broker where you represent every single carrier out there and you're able to provide all the protection under one roof because you offer all, that's great. But people that I'm talking about that fail, I'm talking about in general, the number of failure is high. So before you go and get your license, before you make the commitment to getting your courses out of the way, which is roughly about 52 hours, listen up as I share with you my opinion on why I feel a lot of these people fail. The first one is leads. Not many are good at chasing friends and family. So agents that are faced with, you know, having to go after their friends and family and make lists to educate them financially, 
There's a lot of people out there that are lousy at that and they get paralyzed when they're asked to go do that. Well, that contributes to your failure. Two, if you're not actively either generating leads or buying leads from an agency or a marketing company that sells that type of lead of the insurance that you happen to sell, well, that can be a problem because if you don't have leads, then how are you gonna sustain a full-time career in the insurance business? Because you gotta be able to help families every single week. And if you don't have that, then that's a problem. And not to mention that, but quality leads, leads that are not gonna get you in trouble. But again, leads. Second, training. Look, most insurance agents understand that they're independent. And when they go work for an insurance agency, very few of them ever take advantage of the training that's being provided by their agency. Please understand, you're new to this. You have never sold this type of product. So team up with your upline, find yourself a mentor, ask for help, join in on all the training sessions that are being offered and tap into that training and then commit to following that training. It's unfortunate how many of you guys take the training, you re-engineer it because, hey, you're gonna figure it out. I caution you not to do that, but on the contrary, follow the training you're being given, sign up for all the training, ask the questions, ask the shadow that upline that's an expert, so that way you can better your craft. The sooner you get that, the better your odds are of staying in this business. And lastly, I would have to say, having an insurance carrier that issues your policies. I talked to countless insurance agents um, a friend of mine that works at AAA, he writes 20 applications a week, and he tells me that over half of those he can't place because they don't qualify because of heart issues, diabetes, background issues, age, weight, height, income. Now, he's selling term insurance, and there's a lot more issues in terms of placing so find yourself an insurance company that when you have enough leads you got your training down your sales down your closings down but then you have an insurance company that's going to issue those policies that will guarantee that your commissions your cash flow are consistent and you can do it all over again every month, year in, year out. What good is it, right, to have a great carrier, but over 50% of the policies you submit get rejected? Trust me, it won't take long before you're moving on because you're not making money because the policies are not placing. So again, these are three points that I've seen over the years that have really hurt agents. Getting organized is really very important, whether your calendar, your training, your leads, and the carrier you're working for. So if you're watching this video, if you can't commit to showing up every day, working, following the training it just won't work for you and I wouldn't recommend you getting into this business but if you listen up this can be a great opportunity for you peace